to be fair, the reason that Dr. Sears is having this done is as his wisdom tooth was erupting, there are risks. If you don't remove it, you can have continued headaches, chewing discomfort. We mentioned the buildup of plaque, which can cause bad breath, as well as deepening infection of that bone. So just real quickly while he's getting that suture, this was his wisdom tooth, and very simply, <laughs> Dr. Lisa, <laughs> no. you, after it's numb, you just pull that out, and voila. There you go. Oh, wait, where that is. You missed your it, calling. You did that well. <laughs> Beautifully. <laughs> well, I, this, is a, this is a lot easier than doing it on a real patient, but I, I do think it's one of those things where it's an easy procedure, but if you ignore this, if you ignore your body's hints or signs, it can become a big problem. And now, Dr. Moltman, now that Jim has this out, you don't expect any long-term problems, do you? I don't expect any more problems. Um, he's going to have no more pain. And luckily, he hasn't had too much damage behind the last tooth there that we are keeping, the one right in front of the wisdom tooth. Because what could happen is if that tooth can get a cavity and bone loss, and then a lot of times if the teeth are left in place, we could end up losing both teeth. Is it possible that this procedure will solve his problems with constant bad breath? <laughs> Please! So this was absolutely fantastic. I hope yeah. that we've taken away not only your fears, but the fears of folks out there who are maybe Definitely. having this procedure planned in the near future. Dr. Moldvan, thank you so much. And Dr. Sears, clean up. We're going to check back in with you before the end of the show.